Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Draconius Go. Today we are talking about the new event that has come with the new year. We have a special event which is really, really good. I'm, I'm excited for this because it has one of my favorite little, little aspects of the game that is very unique to it, and that is treasure chest. So we're gonna be getting into that and maybe testing out what these friggin' Tony and Ronolf differences are in terms of powering them up and what they can do. Um, and we're gonna be looking at the most insane, insane uh, Mother of Dragons portal, not Mother of Dragons, just the portal to the Rift of Arcana. We're talking crazy look, insane look. Uh, so let's get into it. Basically we have the Draconius Go update is that from now until I believe it's somewhere on the 8th, we'll look it'll be on the screen when I actually bring it up. But here came the new year, and in the meantime our baby dears gave us joy. Friggin' Tonir and Ronolf have grown up considerably. Remind you that the difference will be seen after powering up um, or evolving the creature. So we're only going to be able to see those things if we the changes if we put uh, candy into them, stones into them, which is what I'm going to do today. Also, the totem of second vision now hides several more types of frequently encountered creatures. So those ones which aren't on the green list, but maybe blue, but you, you you've seen loads of, it starts to get rid of them. And that is the best artifact in my opinion. I'm so glad I bought it because they've just made it even better, which means that you know if something is in the distance. I'm not going to have less rare types covering that up, and I might finally finally get my cherub discs. Maybe even encounter Leviathan. And of course, in the new year, we're waiting for new special offers. The first of them, the Dragon Stair, has already started. So it seems like in the new year, there's going to be a selection of special offers. So. I'm stocking up my coins and getting ready for some future events, maybe some around lures, pheromones, anything that increases the uh, the drop rate because what I'm doing is also saving up my runes. I have quite a few runes um, built up and what I'm saving them for is if there is a future event which affects towers, bam I'm smashing down that tower of water hopefully, um, might have a chance of pulling Leviathan, Armour Rank. Uh, the other two new types that are war types, so they're, they're, they're pretty hard to get for myself and so maybe, maybe that might help me with it. So I'm looking forward to New Year, what that might bring. If we go to Tony and friggin Ronoff, so we see him <laughs> at one strength, one health, at 361 CP, so let's see how big the difference is. Wow, 675 CP, that's almost doubled. Um, 675 CP, that makes him pretty strong. And if you look at the CP bar, he has the ability to go quite far. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it for you guys just because we can see how what well, the max CP of him. Yes, I am wasting a lot of essence, but my channel is about informing you so that I can save you hopefully power ups in the future. We've got a ton of a ton of friggin' stones, so we should be able to send him a friggin' stone. That we should be able to take this guy pretty high. Okay, so it's now getting into the point where he is not powering up that much. I thought he'd get into the 2000s, but actually, if you're halfway, it's not indicated that your CP is going to double. It goes up like by 10 at the moment now. So at this rate, well, we'll, we'll see there, we'll get in there now. He's actually, oh, I mean, he, bear in mind this guy is, I don't know if resources, bear in mind this guy is one strength, one health, so he's the weakest possible CB potentially that he can be. Um, and he's 1575, so not a bad type if you uh, if you haven't got a good earth type. That's going to help you beat any um, any arcane, not arcane types. We, <laughs> wind is strong against. Wind against water, oh my god. Wind against water, because wind causes a wave. That is how you, what you're probably gonna expect between like 1,500 to 2,000 CP, which isn't too bad, but he's not gonna get anywhere near into my top. Actually, he's, not, he's, he's one away from my top 10. I'm um, just getting beaten outed by all the goddamn griffins that I have. So, let's get into this event and how it started for me. So here's the event, Dragon Stare. It's going to give us 20% off the cost of Dragon's Eyesight, making it 2,040? 240? Not 2,040. 240, I think, or 2,060. It's a pretty good deal considering it used to be 500. Um, I now have saved up a lot of coin to be able to hopefully... Uh, hopefully I don't need to use them because I bought that big package uh, Christmas time. Uh, it goes on towards January, to the, uh, January the 9th. 
Uh, I got that wrong, it's not the eighth, it's the ninth. Number of chests is the big one, it's doubled in both worlds, so both normal and both in the Rift of Arcana. And this is how I started, so lucky, right? So this event just propped up and there was a chest right on me and I thought, that's pretty cool, that's all right. So I do a little, little spin around, see what else is around me. Do a little spin of the Pillar of Abundance, get a nice 10K, and then bam, there's another chest right near me. Open that, boom, even better, Dragon's Eyesight. So that's how this event started for me. I believe, how's this possible if there's another one? I believe there was another one. Where's the other one? Anyway, there was another chest at some point, either I got it before that I started recording, um, or it comes after. Three chests to start this off, I was thinking, this is going to be a great event with double chest drops. If you pull a Dragon's Eyesight, I've heard people get as many as 16 chests from one Dragon's Eyesight, and you've got a good chance, of, like I did, pulling a Dragon's Eyesight from that. So best of luck on that side. So that's how my event started off. I am going to be using that wisely though. I'm not going to be spending it too much. Hopefully I'm going to be getting lots of chests just through traveling um, and don't have to use them. So look at this guys. So I popped out to get this Rift Volcano straight after this. Uh, as you can see my potion 24 minutes is still running. And just to see if there was a Mother of Dragons. No Mother of Dragons I'm thinking this is rubbish but no, because there's a boogie mount on the screen. This is the fourth stage of this evolution. You need like over 150 stones combined to get from, be more than that, it's like 200 stones to get from Boggy to Cluriturn to Leprechaun to um, get to boogie man. And I managed to do it. So I traveled all the way and obviously going for it. I got some pretty good catches and boom, he had really low CP which I was happy about because I just wanted the capture. 14 stones and that's the fourth stage of the evolution, red and rarity added to my decks, my bestiary. But it didn't stop there, so I actually went home after that and here's, yeah, here's me back home. So this is me back home, pat my car up, I'm like I'm done, I've had a pretty good run there of getting Boogeyman. And then I stop, I, I stop, I stop, and the game catches up with me. I just check the radar, there might have been something that was in the distance that, um, bam, Chlorichorn. So this is the third stage evolution. So the third and fourth stage of this evolution stream, I'm off, <laughs> I'm gone to go and get this, hopefully. And there he is, Leprechaun. Did I say Chlorichorn? I meant Leprechaun. Uh, so Leprechaun is the third stage of this evolution stream, 89 CP, brilliant, I do not want a big high CP on this for my first capture, and my battery's run out. <laughs> Warning, I have low battery on my phone. I have low battery on my phone, I'm at 1%, and I can't bother charging it up. So what happened? Did I capture it? Low CP. Of course, I did. Where are you? It's just back here. <laughs> the phone's gone. You just may have got a, a glimpse of it there, just just at the end. So I got my leprechaun. That adds another two entries to the best tree in one trip to the portal of Arcana. So even if they don't have a mother of dragons, you might just get lucky enough. That is where that um, my totem of second vision is called comes into massive effect so I can pick those guys out without all the common ones getting in my way. Uh, that was brilliant. Two great rare finds, red and rarity, I think both of them. And two new entries, which puts me at 141 out of 151 in the best tree. I'm getting there. I was five away before. I'm now, what, eight away now and I'm closing in, you know, hopefully I'm going to start to get past that five away and get to four away. I, I expected to get two more this week, that was my challenge for this week. I'm close to getting that boggy evolution into Cluritorn, uh, which you'd think with all those captures I would have enough stones, but I don't. It's like 50 or 75 stones to it, yeah, 75 stones I think it is to get that evolution. So that's going to be what I'm going to be going for next. Gets me down to seven. I really want the two, um, the two water kinds that have been added to these 25 new creatures. That's going to be kind of next on my hit list. That'll get me down to, uh, 
with the only one. Five, get me on back back onto five, and then I'm seeking some of those rare ones, hopefully from a golden egg hunt. Who knows? Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit that like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future information. Let me know in the comment section below what you've been catching. Have you had any really good finds, any good golden egg hatches? Okay, that's all for me. I'll see you soon.